We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103. T.I. is around the corner, but right now, let's talk about what we got going on in the Ryan Report. It's being brought to you by... McDonald's. Start your day with two sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, or a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, and the medium drink for only $3. And don't forget to download... The app for McDonald's for special offers and the Mighty Wings is back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mariah's back. You know, she has a, it's not really a reality show. It's only eight shows, right? Right, right. And, you know, uh, she showed up to Radio City Music Hall yesterday mm-hmm. morning. Skin tight, mini dress, sunglasses. What? Looking like a diva. Nets, sky high platform heels. All right, Mariah. And then she tripped. She fell? She tripped and lost one of her <laughs> shoes on the red carpet. <laughs> Right? So, <laughs> guess what happened after that? And then what? She was carried up the steps. I bet she was. Mariah has a, a part of her rider, they say, that she says, mm. Mariah doesn't do steps. Are you serious? Yeah. You know she's got a part of her rider where she only want, like, a certain color M&M's mm-hmm. in her dress. Like, all yellow M&M's. Right. Okay, Mariah. Uh, and one of the scenes from the, the new most. TV show, uh, Mariah is indoors mm-hmm. with some sunglasses on. mm and she says it's because there's fluorescent lighting, saying, I have a rule which states I will not be seen uh, in fluorescent lighting without uh, sunglasses. See, I see what Nick Cannon is talking about. This is why he got there alone. <laughs> now, along with, the, with, the, with Mariah, they said she had a glam squad. What? Who touched her up at least six times. Oh, my. One time she was in the middle of an interview speaking, and then a makeup artist gave her some lip gloss Ew. while her lips were still moving. What? As she's walking down the carpet, another stylist is fixing her hair. Mm. See, that's see, I don't like stuff like that. That's yeah. just doing the most. Mariah is the most. But that's why Nick Cannon moved on. Okay. <laughs> he couldn't do all of that extra. Moving on to um, Tamar. Extra. Hey, Tamar. Uh, somebody, mm-hmm. Roz, who's just an egg on Twitter. Right. Added her and said, saw Vincent Herbert at the Ritz Carlton in Buckhead, Atlanta today with lady from ATL Medicine carrying her bags in the hotel, trying to snitch. Tamar. Snap back. Quickly. You tried it. You tried it. First of all, you got it all wrong, boo. That wasn't. He was carrying our bags, all three of us. Okay, don't get it wrong. Yeah, that was Dr. Jackie Walters. <laughs> she said, not everybody, man, out here. I know. Shut it down quick. Yes, yeah, she did. She shut it down. Later on on her IG, she says, mm. this be the ish I have no time for. It was the real Dr. Jackie. Second, he was carrying our bags in with our change of clothes in it from filming. <laughs> Third of all, all of us with my glam went to see our friend, the radio guy. Right, um, right. Not everybody man out here in these streets. Not talking about no one in particular, just saying. Or he ain't that stupid because I whip his blank in public. P.S. Oh, yeah, it was yesterday. You all the way wrong. And then she had those emojis, right? Yeah. It had like, it's saying have several seats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And <laughs> Diddy has announced a bad boy reunion. I talked to Q yesterday. He said, man, this tour is going to be epic. Of course, the tickets go on sale Friday, May 20th, for the September 8th concert here in Atlanta. It is Diddy, Lil' Kim, Mace, Faith Evans, Mario Wines, 112 total, Carl Thomas, The Locks, and French Montana, 8 o'clock, September 8th, at Phillips Arena. It is going. Did you say Lil Kim? I did say Lil Kim. Oh, okay. Lil Kim, Mace. Lil Kim Punk, and Faith. Faith. Mario Ooh. Wines, 112 total. Carl Ooh. Thomas, the locks, and French Montana. That's so nice. He got Lil Kim and Faith, both the biggest hey, girls. That, uh, That's <laughs> nice. That's right. And speaking of Biggie, <laughs> one of the biggest mysteries in hip hop was who is Biggie rapping about in the song he had called I Got a Story to Tell? Mm-hmm. Here's a clip. <laughs> I'm up in the spot, so oh, you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Which one? I'm, I'm, I'm six five. I'm looking, I'm up, yeah. Anyway, I'm up in the spot, so, 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 so I'm up in the piece. So, whatever, whatever. I spark up some lies. I do creep the sand up on some. It must have been rained out or something. It comes up in the sky. Oh, 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 Something in the spot. Crash the desert in his face. He drops the glass. Look like this. You know what I'm saying? 
So, the story is about Biggie being in some New York Knicks player's girlfriend's house, or at the player's house, having sex with her, and the player walks in, and everybody was like, well, who was the player? Nobody ever knew who it was. Nobody knew who, who the basketball player was until mm -hmm. Fat Joe mm -hmm. goes on Highly Questionable on ESPN and drops this bomb. Who was it about? Who? Give us the Nick. Like, you're the closest we're well, going to get well, to Well, the guy, the guy, I could, I could tell you, but I don't want to be disrespectful, but um, uh, it was about Anthony Mason. Rest in peace. And Ann Mason's my brother. I love Ann Mason. But you got to also know that rappers, this is entertainment. So, you know, we stretch the truth. Wait we a change minute. things okay. up. Uh, All right. Uh, no, no, but, no, no, but that's okay. What he's saying there, because you're no, known I'm as saying being the truth. We, we, we yes. lie. We stretch it. Something but you're happens. telling us we, who you know, it's about. Calm down. What I heard was <laughs> it was about Anthony Mason. Anthony Mason was the person that Biggie robbed and put it on a song. And that's your Ryan Report. T.I. is up next, man. People stay to V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know. The Ryan Report. The Ryan Report. V103.